Hi and welcome to C++ Tutorial Zero Installation and Setup. Today I'm going to show you how to get um, set up and ready for your new life in C++. Um, for the tutorials I'm going to produce here on, um, I'm going to use the IDE code blocks 10.5. Uh, now IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment and basically makes your programming life a lot easier. Uh, the reason I've chosen code blocks is because it's free, it's open source and it's cross compatible with Windows, Linux and Mac OS X. So that should cover the majority of the PC user base. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the website to download it. Um, the website is www.codeblocks.org and we're going to click on downloads. And then we're going to click on download the binary release. Now you can see here all the versions supported. We've got Windows 2000 XP, uh, Vista and 7, Linux 32, 64-bit and a Mac OS 10. Um, now we've got uh, code blocks 10.05. Now my first instinct when I came to this website was to download that one because I never read the screen. I'm terrible for that. Now I was wrong. You need to download um, the one with MinGW set up as well. You notice it's got a note down there. The code blocks um, hyphen 10.05 mini GW setup blah 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 includes a GCC compiler and a GDB debugger from mini GW now what this basically means is it includes a free um, C++ compiler now if you've installed the first setup because it ignores what I just said and you're getting a bunch of different errors and you're screaming you're pulling your hair out then the solution is simple uninstall it come back and install the larger version of this program um, so what we're going to do now is minimize this I've already downloaded it is conveniently on my desktop here so we're just going to double click on that and as you can see the code box has appeared and we're just going to go through the setup process so next I agree and we're just going to leave everything here as standard click on next again we're just going to leave it uh, the destination folder is going to be exactly the same as just leave it to default unless you really need to install it to another location if you do remember that location click on install and we'll just copy all these lovely files over to our hard drive and this will make our C++ coding life a lot easier in the long run. So as you can see it's quite a quick installation now. No I don't want to run it quite yet. I like to finish my installations. So next and finish. And uh, now I'm just going to quickly call it from the uh, the um, program menu so all programs we're going to go to code blocks and the code blocks icon obviously it's off script it's outside my recording area so I'll just click on that and we'll load it up and there we go so code blocks is now started so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new project and we're going to click on console application click on go click on next um, select C++ click on next we're going to give it a project title I'm going to call it first compile and then I'm going to click on next and this creates all the files for us and we're going to click on finish and there we go we've just created our first project and the great thing is it's already ready to compile so if we click on the plus here and click on main.c++ then basically you have a pre-made file ready to compile and ready to test the compiler with. So I'll tell you all about this source code in the next tutorial. For now all we want to do is make sure that our installation is working correctly. So we're going to click on build and we're going to click on build and run. And there we go, we've got the hello message there, we've got process return, blah blah blah, lots of jargon you don't need to worry about quite this second. We're just going to close the program and as long as you've had that result and no errors down here, then uh, you've set up a correct installation of code blocks. If you're having any problems or you've received any error messages, please leave them in my comments and I will do my best to help you if possible. Um, if you have any suggestions or want to point out any stuff I've missed out, please comment as well. Um, if you just want to rate my video and press the little thumbs, please do. And if you want to subscribe for new tutorials, and please subscribe to my, my 
web page, sorry, my YouTube channel. Um, I won't only be covering C++. If you're interested in HTML, I've already got five tutorials up on that, including a HTML5 tutorial, uh, amusingly. Um, I also cover Dark Basic Professional. I'm going to be covering uh, um, Dark GDK and a, a bunch of other things as well. So if you're interested in various program languages or you're not sure if you want to stick with C or want to look for some alternatives or anything like that or even in the dark case of Dark GDK if you just want to enhance your existing C skills with a new library set designed for games and, and Dark GDK is a good um, starting point. I should say for the rest of these tutorials um, I won't be doing anything like games or anything really exciting or graphical. We're going to be focusing on the core elements of C. Um, as a famous man once said, you cannot build a house on sand and this is going to be the bedrock that gets you coding well with C++ and once you start coding well with C++ the world is your oyster, you can create anything within your imagination as long as you can work out the logical program structure for it. So C++ is quite exciting and I hope you'll join me for my next tutorial.